I don't mind trucks. What I do mind though is that they create this wall in the second lane or the, the number, what is this, the number two lane, where you just, you can't, you can't get over. And they, they create these perfect distances where they won't let you in no matter what you do. And it's like, guys, I get it, I get it. You gotta do your job and your job's very important, but crap, maybe one out of five of you should let people in. I got an unboxing here. This unboxing is big box. Changing the way we're gonna do the ham radio crash course. I was concerned about not being able to get the the family comms video done. I, I don't think it would happen. Leia's kinda not, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I have not done her, her lines. But the show must go on, so I've got something else that I'm gonna do. First box. It's a game. Freedom Wars, old game. Going with me on travel. What's wrong, buddy? So the guys over at BioLite have a new 2016 product line. One of them is this solar panel. Okay, got the kids sorted away. Yeah, so five watt ultra light solar panel. This is the 2016 new product from BioLite. It comes with a 2200 milliamp hour battery embedded. Very excited to try it out. So what am I doing? Well, I'm going to do the alternative power video in two parts. First part is going to be portable power with uh, portable HT radios, handy talkies, that's what HT stands for, and my portable QRP radio. I'm going to go through the process of what it's like to power those items uh, when you are off grid or there's no power situation, whatever. And that's going to be the prep tonight is going to be for the video tomorrow. Very slide that off. Oh, this is really lightweight. Oh, wow. Okay. So it comes with a cable and an instruction booklet. And then you've got the panel. The panel has a kickstand and there's like graduated clicky bits. So that's really helpful because that means it'll stay seated like this. Now one of the features that's kind of cool about this guy is this little thing right here. It's called the sundial. What this does is when the sun's exposing it, it casts a shadow with that black dot in the, in the background. And that allows you to position the, the, the panel at the peak spot to collect the most sun. There's two slots in the back. One is a micro USB and a regular USB. I'm assuming that the micro USB is to charge it. The 2200 milliamp hour battery in the back here. And then the USB is to charge something. There's a button on the top. Click it and it shows you a light. There's four indicator lights. Two of them shows that the battery is half depleted. Okay, plug her in. Okay, this started to illuminate, meaning that it is charging, mission successful. Well, my plan for today is to make sure that all my radios and my GPS devices and all the things, even your cell phone, I can power in a off-grid type of scenario. So I've got this BioLite panel, a Goal Zero panel, with a guide 10 battery pack. I don't have to use the panel with the battery pack. If the BioLite panel is more efficient, I can power charge this off of this and charge devices off of this while also charging these batteries. This unit will take double A's and triple A's. Why is that important? Because I have devices, battery packs that work off of triple A and I have radios and work off of double A. My problem is I have this radio. This radio is a QRP, which means low watt, although highly portable, HF radio. So what I need to do, this is its power plug. This is how its power works. 
this goes to the radio, this goes to a battery, positive and negative. And in the middle are these Anderson power poles. I've showed this in the past. My problem is that these devices only take USB for output. So what do I need to do? Well, as purely a fishing experiment, I'm gonna cut this USB in half and I'm going to connect an Anderson power pole connector to it. And then we're gonna see if I let the sparks out of the machine or not. Shielding off. And look at that. We got a red black and a green white. So I'm gonna peel all this stuff way down here. All right, tubing. That's right, tubing. Okay, so Anderson power poles. Pretty simple. The super small gauge stuff is over here. These might not be small enough. We're gonna try it. Okay. Here's our two leads. Got my crimper here. I see you, Ben. Okay. Crimp that about as good as it's gonna go. Now, with these Anderson power poles, you wanna make sure that you, you line up your cable exactly how you want it, and then make sure that you make the other guy, the other side, match completely to your, um, to how it lines up. Make sure you test fit with your, uh, with what you're gonna connect to, <laughs> and make sure that you line the red and black up appropriately before you, you shoot them in there because they stick that way. In physical form, but when you leave the body, all you have is pure consciousness and pure understanding, and what you become is kind of, of an observer to reality. Now, here's a highlight from Art Bell Somewhere in Time on iHeartRadio. Doctor, may I take a sidestep for a yeah. second? Uh, I would imagine you'd be in some way involved in this, or at least in the information uh, flow uh, regarding this, but um, with regard to the anthrax. Folded the genome of anthrax, and it was thought that we would be able to look at various segments to see what might be in common with the organisms that kill those people. With the so now I've got this USB cable connected to this power pole and I can connect the two together. Red to red, black to black. Now theoretically, this is a little, little, little dangerous, a little bit unwise. This could be famous last words for radio, but it's not a very high power, so I'm not that worried about it. So theoretically, if I connect the out of this, let me turn it on. Okay, we got a nice little green light there. If I connect the output, the input. Okay, doesn't like that. Well, damn it, damn it. Well, let's make sure I've got the power. Okay, so let's make sure I didn't fry my relatively expensive radio first and foremost before we continue the mad scientist stuff. Okay. Radio is not dead. We're just not putting out enough juice. Well, it's 12 on the dot. Okay, so that's not gonna be too helpful. This is a good charged battery. I, I keep this relatively charged. So, um, what would happen if we connect the... Well, that could be a problem. Let us hope and pray. I, I might have just fried the panel. Or the battery, we'll see. I connected the panel to the battery or to the wall. No life. <laughs> that was probably bad. What would happen if I did the same thing with this?
still have a green light. So it's possible that I killed that panel, but I'm racking my brain and trying to figure out what in the panel would have died. There was the radio drew power from the panel, but this is DC drawing 12 volts. It doesn't even need to draw 12 volts, it just, that, that is what it'll draw. This is just a battery, so this is the load. It doesn't have a charge controller, so this is, the, the battery's just gonna probably go the other way, unless there's like some kind of charge controller inside of it that I burnt out? Maybe? The hell? Post in the comments below if you think you know what I did wrong. Aside from any of this. Solid greens means there's power. Take my power poles. The problem is, is this radio doesn't have the best documentation. There's not like an upper or lower limit. Still showing power. It's clicking. So I know power is getting to the radio. I just don't know. Okay, so not, this is not a horrible failure. It is telling me though, that this is not, this is not a, a joke around unit. This is a pretty serious unit. Although my cable is something to be desired. I'm just playing around with lithium ion batteries. Like these are all NICAD, but I'm pretty sure that thing's lithium ion, the new panel, and that's the thing I shorted out. Not good. Anything that's happening right now when it's charged the wall, if it was gonna light up, it would have already happened. So I'm fairly confident that I ruined it. Okay, there she is. No light. It's your last chance, panel. Give me the goods, let me just hold it down. Hold it down, is it lighting up? Is it lighting up? There's a goner. That's... Aha! Wait, Jesus. There's a battery right there. What's funny is what, what gave the whole thing away was the little thing here. Once I started prying over here, the whole thing lifted up. So hopefully I didn't ruin the panel because the panel looks all right. It's a decent sized panel. Okay. So what do we got going on here? Let's examine the board. Did I scorch anything? Okay, so the battery has a charge. Although a faint charge. Nothing, nothing looks obviously fried. So while I've got the component out, I'm going to take my working battery pack and see if I can put the charge back on the other one. So I've got this guy providing power through the input port and the 18650 is connected. And none of these surface mount LEDs are illuminating. If no panel, maybe no worky, I don't know. Okay. Panel connected, still no worky. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on right now. So what did we learn today? One, don't be a dumbass. Two, if you're gonna be a dumbass, know that you're gonna break things. Three, I can't really blame anything that happened here against the BioLite Panel 5 Plus because I was the one that made a specialty cable and hooked it up to something with too high of a draw. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the panel back together I didn't start out broken. What's happening here? I broke it. Why did you break the solar panel? Because I did something not right to it. And it did not like it. And it told me so. By breaking. I really do have to reiterate 
this was not the BioLite panel's fault. <laughs> I, uh, I crammed a penny in it, using uh, an electrician's term. I made something with that USB cable that I should not have made. And there is no way that that little board, it's not built for robustness, it's built for weight. And I, I just blew past the weight, uh, robustness of that panel, of the chip doing 80 miles an hour on the interstate. <laughs> so I can't really blame the panel. Uh, the good news is, is the show must go on. I will still do the alternate power video tomorrow and Saturday, posting Saturday. Um, but the downside is now I'll have to get another one of those panels because I do want to do a review for it. I'm going to see what I can do. I wonder, I, I need, there's actually a couple of the uh, BioLite stuff I want to get. I still want to get that nano light, the grid, the nano grid thing. Um, and a couple other things. So maybe I could do a package deal. Wonder if they'll give me a discount. <laughs> hey, I broke your stuff. You want to send me some more for cheaper? <laughs> All right, guys, question of the day is a continuation of the earlier question. What do you think I did wrong? But uh, aside from cram a cable and put a load on a battery that, well, put a load on a board connected to a battery that probably couldn't handle said load. That's probably exactly what happened. Oh gosh, that was fun. Never went through money that quick before, <laughs> aside from Vegas. <laughs> See you tomorrow.